If you met Sam on the street and had the chance of talking to him, he would be nothing out of the ordinary. He's a normal kid. If you talk to him, he'd be very polite. Um, they're just he was just a exemplary kid. I was devastated. I mean, this was just. I, I if I had to guess, there was no way I would ever physically possible to guess, because he's just not a kid that you would even sense that from. Yeah, for something like this to occur, yeah, something happened. But uh, as far as any kind of uh, signs, there was no outward signs. I mean, it was. Um, you know, just Sam as, you know, as usual. I mean, it was just nothing there. This family was so close that they didn't, they didn't um, go anywhere without doing it together. I mean, um, he would take, you know, take him up to the Boundary Waters fishing. Um, I mean, Dad and, and Sam are extremely close. Uh, so it's, it's a shock to the family. I just think we we really, um, I know when I hear the name Sam Hingle, I, I, I'm not going to remember the events of the last 24 hours. I'm going to remember the caring, the loving, the giving Sam Hingle that we all knew and loved. We've, we've lost, a, we are, although we're friends, we lost a family member, and um, it's a huge void. It, it is... Um, it's going to take a long time to overcome it, not only for his immediate family, but his extended family, because that's the way we all felt about Sam and feel about the Hingle family.